Hey guys, today I am wrecking Atom Zombie Smasher. This is a game I've currently sunk about six hours into, um, but I haven't played it in quite a while. I don't even remember how I obtained it. I imagine probably from some humble bundle in days of yore. Um, this game's a great uh, game to play in a single session, which is games I like. So, the premise is Zombie Invasion. I know, old hat. By the time this game came out, it wasn't quite as old hat, but so here's how it goes. Right now, all we have is our helicopter, and to beat the level, we have to rescue at least 10 people. So, right now, we're choosing where to land to maximize helicopter rescuing. So right now I'm just sitting back and watching. Um, as the game progresses, so the helicopter sounds a horn, so all the little yellow dots, which are the people, come in. You can see the pink dots coming in from the right. Um, they're gonna be attacking people, turning them into zombies pretty much instantly. Uh, the helicopter has a capacity. So hopefully we can get two loads of people uh, because it's points. So, so this game has these little session type things, but then as you saw the above map, that also affects how we get points. Uh, I'll explain more after this level's over, which it should be pretty soon. Um, the game will also get a lot more involved as we progress through the rounds, because we will unlock mercenaries to to do more than just a helicopter, basically. The, you will always have the helicopter, the game revolves from the helicopter, but you have things like like you know, soldiers and snipers and stuff to... We're gonna reposition this up here a little bit, because if the LZ is too hot, then nothing's gonna happen. Um, yeah, once this timer goes down to zero, it'll become nighttime, and things are gonna get super hairy. Looks like we're gonna get maybe a full of the load. Let's see how fast they can get in the helicopter. There's zombies all around. Hurry up, people, hurry up. There's only four of you left. Can you make it? Oh, nope, too slow. Oh well, you're all done for. I tried somewhat. Z Z Z. All those Zs are coming. LZ is hot. Oh, you're done. They're like, we, we want to go to the helicopter, but we can't. Don't even bother, just die already. Sorry. There we go. Victory. It was a victory, though. So our helicopter can level up. Um, let's see. So here we go. This victory track. We win when we fill it up. These little bullet points mean things happen. Pretty straightforward. So, yes, the artillery, that's probably my favorite piece. It's really hard to use early on, but it's my favorite piece. So yeah, here's what the game is cool. We just got 20 points for the victory track for owning this place. Zed got zero because they don't have any places. Um, it was black because we succeeded in our mission, but there is still a Zed presence there. Yes, yes, slower Zed movement, random events happen. That's nice, that's a nice one. I'm gonna answer the artillery. But now we can only do one. So Zed is gonna get 10 next turn no matter what. Now our goal here, and I don't think I can do it. Let's put a, um, hmm, strategery. Let us try, let us try this one. So we're planning, there's a lot of stuff going on. I got, I'm not sure how to explain this in order, but basically, if we can kill all the zombies before night falls, or I guess at any point, I mean, once night falls, it's really hard to kill the zombies. Um, once that happens, though, uh, you control, the zone becomes your color, it doesn't go black. It becomes yours, so it's generating points for you. Um, so here, I did not aim properly. Oh, not too bad, actually. So it's reloading. Shoot right here. They're coming. You can knock buildings down, which is cool. It has to swivel and aim and call in the hellfire. So the artillery is good because it's a huge AoE and can destroy buildings, but especially at this rank zero and slow reload time, it's really freaking hard to get anything done. Uh, let's see if we can take down anything more. We've already hit our goal of rescue ease. Ah, that one's gonna escape. That's too bad. Hitting a single zombie is basically impossible with this gun. I'm gonna drop you over here next time you come back. Let's... So here I'm just aiming really far because I don't want 
the lead zombie to cause an outbreak. So even if I don't get the vocal zombies, if I can just stop their advancement a little bit, that is the goal here. Kill some civilians. It's the price of our great our god. Ooh, a tiny breakout over here. Let us nip that in the bud. Might be able to get most of them. It's a little slow. So as you can upgrade this thing, you can uh, you can reduce you can reduce the delay and reduce reload time, which are obviously super nice. I don't know where to land you. Uh, no, I can't land, land there. Land there, because they're done for. Might as well look at the last two people. Um, yeah. Not looking super good right now. But we get mercenaries after this one. Mercenaries are a unit which you can place in the streets and have them move around. They move pretty slow, but they can basically hold a lane, which is really nice. Also, friendly fire is a thing in this game, so you gotta be careful to make sure that you don't collide or artillery your own guys. Let's try and go with... Uh, let's go with load time. So we got way more points than the zombies, but uh, things can escalate out of control. If you don't start winning zones, things will escalate out of control, because that's going to get at least two things every turn, so this ten points is going to grow, and so you got to get your sticker by taking over stuff, obviously. Shorter daytime, well that's balls. Balls, balls, balls. Let's, uh... So right now what I'm looking for when I choose a place, and things to consider are difficulty... Oh, we didn't get mercenaries. I thought we were going to get mercenaries. What the cuss? What the cuss? Well, the other thing I'm looking for is zones that have the most zones, like this area, because later on we're going to get an item, which we have a circle, and all the zones it's touching, we just purge of the zombie taint. So I don't mind letting those build up. We'll go, I think we're going to purge this one, because this one doesn't, has a three, that's a three, that's a three, maybe it's a four, if those are the ones that build up. So I'm going to get rid of this one, because those, the other two have a lot of options to expand out to be juicy targets. Oh, we have snipers. Okay, snipers are good. Snipers are kind of like the artillery, but a little different. I'll show you. So here are the snipers. We choose their initial aiming, and that glowing area is their cover. Um, they fire very slowly, shockingly enough. And we'll put you in the we'll put you in the uh, let's put you in the nice grass field. I'll put you right here. This intersection. No, zombies are coming in that way. Let's pull. Let's pull people over here. I like that. Okay. Let's go with zombies. The shorter daytime is gonna make it tough, but with the snipers, we just might be able to protect all of the people. I aimed that a little too freaking far back. Gosh dang it. Let's have you guys reposition. Dang it, dang it, dang it. You can't really tell them which one to shoot at either, which can be frustrating. Drop it like it's hot. Oh dear. This is not going well. Not going well at all. That killed a lot of people. Oops. We are not rescuing me today. Oh, in four seconds. Okay, this was hopeless. Things would have had to go so perfectly. Oh well, might as well try and kill some zombies while well, we can. Good, good, good. Not that many people left. Let's try and get over here, I guess. Once again, it's kind of helpless. Once we get mercenaries, we'll be okay. The problem is, once we unlock enough other things, um, it randomizes what you get. So you can get really hosed, because some of the things you get are like a wall. And the wall's cool, but it's not its not as good as freaking the snipers, I'm sorry. Um, so there is a game type where you can choose which things to take with you. And though, and that's, uh, that's laughably easy, honestly. Like, there's almost no point to to do. I mean, it's it's fun. This is still a fun game to do, but there's no challenge to it because you can basically win every zone you do. Okay, we got 43 of 3. That's not super good. Level up. Oh, so close. That sucks. We did not do well. Oh my goodness. That's the worst we've done so far. Oh, here we got demo men. So I see. When the reward is mercenaries, it means very generic. The order might be random. I don't recall. It's been a while since I played this game. I don't think it's random, but it could be. 
so we're still a touch in the lead. Long daytime. Hooray! Oh, the little vignette. I forgot about these. At a tender young age. What's CDR? Commander Tabahara raises pet pigeons. One day... One day the pigeons disappear. His grandparents tell him they flew away. A fine casserole is enjoyed that night. Not until 44 years later does Tabaharas realize what really happened. That is tragic. I don't know who Tabaharas is. I assume he's a scientist of ours. Okay, so that's interesting. See, you can see uh, that in this area build up a little bit. We'll take care of this one. And hopefully we can win it with this longer daytime. Because we've got so many mercenaries on our side now. Um, yeah, let's put you here, we're gonna put, how much dynamite do we have? One dynamite, two dynamite, three dynamite, more dynamite. Let's put the snipers covering these two, these two, and we'll put the, right now where you put the artillery doesn't matter, but it will matter eventually when you have to deal with giant friggin' Zombies that can crush buildings. Okay, so once the zombies get within the dynamite, we are going to blow the dynamite and kill all of them. Yes! Okay, that's perfect. That's as perfect as could be, practically. I don't know if it'll be enough, but it certainly friggin' went well. Our snipers are picking off fools. And our artillery is going to take out the rest of them. Yes! Oh my goodness, this is going so well! Just take out that last guy. Take out that last guy and we've done it. Shoot him! Shoot him quickly! Yes! We won! Cool! Because once you kill the zombies, you just get all the civilians. So, boom! Look at that, so many points. We only lost three people who got infected. I don't even know how they happen, those slow pokes. We're going to go arrival time, half a second. And we're gonna go with reload time, totally. Dang, that was a good round. We are redeeming ourselves. Territory captured. Look at that, it's beauty. So now we have, what is that? Bait, Zed bait. So that's obviously really good with the artillery, assuming you can get them paired together. And now we're outpacing them, which I think is anticipated because their checkpoints, uh, a couple hundred points before ours. Uh, now what? The evac helicopter. Evacuation helicopters ferry civilians out of Zed infested cities. Commanders must ensure the helicopter landing in zone LZ is clear of Zed, lest the rescue pickup be compromised. They rescue people prior to landing, activate their foghorn. Yep, yep, yep. All standard stuff. Shorter daytime, but less Zed. A fair compromise, I think. Oh, wow, you're really spread out. And there's three of you. I kind of hate your guts. All your guts. Kind of hate them. There's not really any good place to pick. Uh... Huh. I guess I'll just go with, uh, this one. Yeah, we'll go with that one. More or less arbitrarily. Okay, so we only have two things here. Oh, wait, what's this mean? What's the two mean? I don't know. I think the two means... It can fire two shells before reloading. Yes, okay. That's friggin' kinda OP. And... Well, there we go. So we don't have snipers, but we have the bait. It's a reusable thing that we deploy later. Let's put an LZ. It doesn't matter where, because we're gonna go for a complete rescue. Right, guys? Of course. Okay. Let's get ready to blow the dynamite. And a poof. <laughs> Dynamite carries the day. I clipped the crap of the microphone. I'm sorry, but I did not expect that to work so friggin' well. That was ballin'. Oh, yeah. Territory. That feels good. That less Z really means less Z. Okay, there we go. Those Daniels Eagles. Those are the guys who you can move around. <clears throat> I think we'll hit our checkpoint before they do. Solstice, longer daytime. We are on a streak of good luck. Assuming it's random, which honestly I don't remember either. So see, this is grouping up. Um, 
And that's kind of what we want, because we want to bomb them all. But uh, the trouble is if, let's say there's randomly distributed ones, because that is random for sure. If those land on another one, it goes to a two. And if it gets to a four, it kind of spreads more. If like, you've ever played the uh, board game Outbreak, it's a lot like that. So I think we're just going to hit this guy. And oh, I forgot to point out, here you can see on the right all of our mercenaries. So this one we're bringing the snipers, the bait, and the infantry. We don't have the artillery or the dynamite. So this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a little more uh, RTS-like than the past couple of rounds. So that's not going to be easy. Um, hmm. I'm not sure how best to do this. I think what I want to do... So we're going to put the infantry to protect here. That way they can go to either side if I would really need them to. Um, and we'll put the snipers right here. No. Uh, put them back a little bit. They can cover two this way. Ah, they can cover two that way. See, I, want to, I like having them cover two, but... I don't want to, but if I have them covering that too, that means I want the infantry to be covering the bottom one, but the infantry move abysmally slowly at this level, and so having them out there is going to take them forever to get all the way up to help out if anything goes wrong, uh, and I don't know that the snipers can really do anything to change that. So I think we're going to double up for now. We'll let this bottom run, uh, bottom lane just kind of run free, and then in, uh, in a pinch we can drop bait to kind of draw them towards the infantry and the sniper zone. Let's see if that works. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this will work out or not. What's the cooldown on the uh, Zed bait? I'm not sure. Oh wow, you guys need to get over there. And you can take care of all these guys. Oh crap. Oh crap. Big mistake on my part. Yep, I goof. Oh, look at that. All of them just got... Yep, okay. My mistake. Uh, can I... Restart? No. Okay. Well... Oops. I wanted to bring these guys over here. I'm not using anything properly. Oh man, if we lose, I don't even remember what happens. Do I get to do over? Is this a do over? Restart mission. There we go, off to the side. Let's do that. That's kind of a cheat, but, uh. But. I kind of want to show you a winning game, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel bad. I feel a little bad, put it that way. Let us put you over here. I changed my mind. We're going to put you guys right here. And we're going to put you guys right here. Let's do this thing. Uh, oh, yes. We... What? Oh, separate. I put you right here. I put you right freaking here. Do it. Unless they've right-clicked or something and deplaced them. Okay. And we're going to drop this when we can. That'll buy time. Once the lane stops spitting out, guys, and we know it's done... People, please leave. You're making things so much worse by not running. Dang it, I didn't drop this stuff early enough. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is the troops are invincible to zombies. I need to reload quickly. Oh, that would be good. That'd be real good. Okay, okay. We're doing well. We've got plenty of time left before nightfall. 
And two zombies left, I think we got this. So this is like the opposite scenario. This went pretty freaking swimmingly. The benefits of hindsight. Upgrade that chopper. 13 set infection system. Yes, we did it. Research labs unlocked. Super scientists have been spotted. Rescue them to unlock exotic and dangerous technologies. They're talking about llama bombs. Llama bombs are the things I'm talking about. So now we get the seventh condor hammers. What do they do? What do they? Oh, they're, they're barricades. Yes. The barricades count as a mercenary. So next time we're going to have the snipers, the zed bait, the infantry, and the barricades. That's actually not that bad. Having the barricades with the snipers is actually a pretty solid combo. I, I knocked the barricades because I do think it's the weakest one, but it's certainly far, far from useless. It can definitely cause super useful choke points. I, I mean, I definitely would have liked it that last round as well. That would have been cool. Let's take over. I'll just get rid of you. Slower Zed movement. Ooh, Katana. Jim Stai realizes his house is surrounded. Jim consumes a pound of mushrooms. He then grabs his katana and leaves the house. I can see that happening. Oh my goodness gracious. Prepare to drop some science. Click on the research lab button to develop, up develop upgrades. Earn upgrades by rescuing scientists. So we have 10 points currently. Can't upgrade anything. The things we can upgrade are the maximum amount of evacuees a helicopter can carry. The extra barrel to the artillery cannon. That's a sweet one. It only costs 15. Current speed, improved scientist movement speeds so to get the helicopters faster, and XP gain doubles. That's cool. A lot of good, a lot of good things. Let's get rid of this guy. I didn't look for scientists. We only have one scientist here. We're gonna drop a helicopter right on you. Normally I don't do that, but here I am, obviously. So we're gonna put a barrier here, and a barrier here, and that means all the zombies have to come through here. So. We are going to make sure the snipers cover there. Oops, that's what I did. That's what I right clicked. That's what I did wrong. Okay, just cover that. That's what you doing. Zombies can't destroy barriers. Or basic zombies. When we get colossals, they will stomp over everything. We got a scientist! That's what that bell means! So once they stop spitting out guys, I can reposition the snipers, and you humans, I guess I trapped you. Oh well, I don't feel too bad about it, because you're kind of being dummies. And when he dies, okay. Uh, reposition, quickly! And then we're going to get ready to drop the scent. we got 32 seconds, 30 seconds. It's a lot of guys, at their current rate. I don't know if the snipers can take out that many guys in 23 seconds. I am the skeptical. Especially with these idiots milling about. Yeah, I can't do it. I just need to rescue seven more guys, though. And we won't lose. It's the best I can hope for, I think. I might have burned that zombie bait a bit too early. that. Two seconds anyway, yes. Is. Drop the bait. You people get the cuss out of there. Oh, they got overtaken so fast. I think the zombie bait actually made them speed up. That could have been my bad. If we can get a partial load left, we'll be okay. Yeah, we got 30% more than the goal, so that's... And, and not even counting what we're going to pick up now, so that's... That's fine. When you only have one weapon, it's really hard to kill all the zombies, shockingly enough. Zombies are just, or the snipers can just rack up points right now. That's really their main purpose. And you die. You die. Okay. He didn't make it. He ran right into the zombies. He probably recognized one, wanted to go in for a hug or something. So snipers, we can go the refire time or the reposition time. We're gonna go with the refire time because if we'd had the refire time upgrade there, they would have killed more zombies. I don't think it would have been enough to do anything. 
Uh, landmines. Landmines are cool. I like. I don't like. Them, I don't like them as much as dynamite, but they're certainly good. Mm, what'd you get? You're gonna hit your point, aren't you? Oh, they didn't hit it yet. They're seven points shy. That's awesome.